Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. A chill, relaxed Sunday stream. That's what we're going for today. We're doing a little bit of a personality test. I've been looking, okay, I was looking high and low for this personality test on Roblox, and I couldn't find it, so I'm doing like the real deal of it. Like, what is it called? The Watson Scott personality test, and I really want you guys to play along with me now. As we hang out here, just gr make sure you grab a snack, okay? Because it's kind of it's kind of a long test. I have a noodle cup here. I've got comfort food for days. I've got like little pizza pops too that already exploded. And I think that you guys might be disgusted at how I eat these because it's very unconventional. But everyone in my hometown did it, so we'll see. Hello, chat. Welcome. Are you ready to do a cute little personality test? Why are you so mean? Me? I I, I wouldn't wouldn't say that. Um, these are Mr. Noodle chicken noodles. Mr. Noodle chicken flavors. Kind of like the worst one, but for some reason in the noodle cup, I find it to be the most delicious. Hello. Mm. <laughs> I, I don't fight about whether I'm mean. I, I, I can't. I read. I read too fast. And so I just kind of like read everything and sometimes I read stuff that I'm not supposed to read. I thought you didn't like Mr. Noodle. I don't compared to other noodles, but every single time I like fly on a plane or, or every single time like I, I'm anxious and I need comfort. This is like, like, it's like the good garbage food that I like. You know what I mean? All right, yeah, pile in guys, pile in. The personality test is starting soon. Are you ready for the personality test, Terry? Yeah. Uh, it's starting soon, guys. Okay, we're just gonna chill. You better be grabbing a snack. You better be grabbing a snack. Welcome to my fun game. Perfect. Why are you eating noodles? Cause we're relaxing, okay? It's a cute Sunday stream. This is just, the, this is the lobby, okay? This is the opening. Cup noodles are the best, indeed. And honestly, with as far as noodle cups go, I prefer this more than like nicer, nicer ones, nicer brands. I am thinking about doing merch soon. Oh, the fun game just got all blinky. I'm getting a grilled cheese. Get a grilled cheese! Get a grilled cheese. Recommended noodles, Sapporo Ichiban original flavor and Indomie original. Those are my recommendations. Also, any, any Korean black bean noodle, very nice. A, A. Welcome to my fun game. Hello. Are you ready for a personality test? Are we playing along? What are your plans for the future? Make videos. That's all. I think I'm ready. Are you guys ready? You guys ready to get in? I'm just going to take a quick bite of my pizza pop and then we're going to get in. This test is suspicious. It is a little suspicious. It is. Are you enjoying your noodle cup? Please. Stop it. I'd only be freaked out if they knew that I was also having pizza pop. And look how I do it. I cut it like this. This is really hard to do on camera, but like I cut it and then I open it and then I do surgery on it and then I eat the insides and then I cut it in half and then I eat the bread on each side. You ready? All right. Why are you doing the test? I'm, I'm doing the, I'm gonna, okay. Let's do the test. Here we go. Okay, here we go. I have to turn off my Animal Crossing music. We're going in. This is very serious. This is very serious right now. No laughing, no smiling. No nothing. Turning this off. We're opening her up. <sighs> I'm scared. I'm nervous. Okay, play along. Okay. Are you a Hamilton fan? I am. Welcome to the Watson Scott test. Alright. I'm scared. Starting her up. <laughs> This test is designed to help you understand your deep anxieties. 
and the underlying causes of your darkest fears and most twisted fantasies. You can't hear me? Are you sure? <coughs> Terry, can you hear me? Okay, thank God. Don't scare me, chat! Okay. I love personality tests because like, I love learning more about myself. For each question, select the response which gives the best, most truthful answer. Ayo, why are we going so fast? I, I couldn't, like, nobody could type faster than this test runner. At the end of the examination, you will receive your analysis and a certificate of participation. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Stop it. Chat, don't say that there's stuff behind me and stuff like that. Okay, I don't want to be like the pick me girl. It's like, guys, stop. But like, seriously, stop. Please note that typically only 13% of participants are able to complete the test due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death. What? Wait, what? Uh, do you wish to continue? I mean, I don't really want to be paralyzed or have cardiac arrest. What do you mean? Stop. Stop saying there's something behind me. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Um, just give me one sec. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it so that, um, so that uh, you can see the game a little bit better. A little bit better. Oops, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm just the worst. Um, okay. Reset. There we go. Okay, that's better, right? That's better. All right. Yeah, we're gonna continue, even though I might die. That's fine. I need to know my true personality. That's the important thing here. Where did my fork go? Finally, some calibration questions. Okay, so this is like the pre-test. What color is the sky during the day? Bleh, right, bleh. Mm. Mm -hmm. If I have one apple and you give me two apples, how many apples do I have? Are they just like testing that I'm not a robot? Hopefully it's three. Are you playing a game right now? I mean, it's more of a test, right? It's a test, so no. But also it could be a game, so yes. Uh, does this matter? Like, is, it, is this gonna affect what's gonna happen. I mean, I feel overall it's a game, but it's a game of a test. I don't know. We're saying it's a game. Are you sure it's a game? I don't know, I'm not sure, what, why? <laughs> Calibration complete. Your test will begin now. Okay, finally we got through it. We got through it, and we're ready to start the actual test. Mm. Okay, I'm really glad that, really glad I brought food because the typing is quite slow. Hope you brought some food too. It's raining outside and you're walking in bare feet. You take one step forward and crush a snail between your toes. Ah! You feel happy. <laughs> I'm glad I killed the snail, guilty. Oh dear, what did I just do? Jealous? Jealous? Oh, je like, I'm, oh, he died. I'm kind of jealous. I find that offensive. Disgusted. I would feel a mix of guilt and disgust, but more guilt than disgust. 
definitely. Bare feet, like, ugh, that's gross. I think guilty. Oh, that's gross though to have like like guts on your feet. But guilty overall. Guilty? You guys would all feel guilty too? Yeah. I don't know, it's just I eat escargot, but when if I'm the one that like takes it out of existence, I'm like, dude, I'm not important enough for that. Who died and made me the king of the stepping on snails? You're walking home at night. Suddenly, a deep, booming, dark- Okay, one sec, I have to burp. <clears throat> a deep, booming burp from behind you causes you to turn around. You see a vicious dog drooling from its mouth. You feel sympathetic. Sympathetic? That, like, the dog feels, like, threatened by me, so it must be living a scared life? Terrified? For me, I think I'd probably be terrified first, like, reflexively. Hostile? Why would I feel hostile towards- an animal, being an animal. Like imagine getting attacked by a bear at the zoo and like being like, you idiot to the bear. Excited, ah! It's the most exciting drama that I've had in 2021. Or nothing. I'd be terrified, personally. What about you? Terrified, yeah, I'd be terrified. 100%, especially if it was like a German Shepherd or a Pitbull. Whew, be scary. Those mouths, they crush my bones really easily. <laughs> Okay, these questions are dark. Your pet cat drops a dead mouse on your doorstep. Its front legs are missing. What do you feel? Do you feel proud of your cat for getting its first little hunt? Do you feel disgust? Uh, no legs? Oh gosh, what is this, the butcher? Satisfied. Good. My cat's eating. It's a cat-eat-mouse world around here. Sad? Oh, poor mousey. Or worried? Is my cat a killer? <laughs> um, I feel, I feel, I don't know. I'm thinking of like in the past before my dog, um, we were like walking and my dog like killed a bird and I felt so bad for the bird, like so bad for it. I, I felt bad, but at the same time I was like, you know, my dog, that was a pretty cool move he did to get that bird. Are you laughing at me? It was a cool move! <laughs> worried? I don't know about worried. I think I'd just be like, I would, okay, I would never be satisfied. I'd just be sad. Poor mouse. Hopefully it was, hopefully it died before its legs got off. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not move. Why do you have to say the image will not move? Are some of the images going to move? Okay. Ew. Ew! Did you see that? No. How did that image make you feel? <laughs> Not peaceful, I'll tell you that much. Did it move? No, it didn't move. It was just like a little baby face. That's cute. It made me feel nervous. It didn't why would it make you feel violent? Yeah, I don't know about that. Chat, what do you think? This is gonna be like our, our collective hive mind test, okay? What do you mean it made you feel nothing? <laughs> Terrified? Terrified? Don't you think that's a bit of a stretch? Like, are you actually terrified right now? It made me nervous, okay? Like, ugh. But not like, ah! Like, terrified is a very strong word. Thank you. Yeah, it's nervous. We know. <laughs> Do you believe in love after love? Do you believe in ghosts? It depends on the day, but most of the time, yes. I think. Okay, but if you guys mostly say no, I'll say undecided. But like, I do feel like, I don't know, I do feel like um, there are some situations that I can't deny, but when I look at it logically, I'm like, well, I don't know. There has to be some sort of explanation. Oh my goodness, a lot of ghosties in here. A lot of ghosties in here. We need to have like ghost story time. All right. 
And if you don't believe in ghosts for the sake of argument, you're saying that you do. Have you ever seen a ghost? Personally, no. Which makes my, an my yes answer really stupid. Have you seen a ghost? I'm unsure. <gasps> unsure is a creepy answer. Like, imagine, imagine if ghosts are real and you saw a bunch of things that you thought were normal, but it was actually a ghost. It was actually a lady. It was actually a lady crawling on the roof last night. Okay, yeah. So you all believe in ghosts? You haven't seen one? <laughs> okay, we're li we're the idiot squad. <laughs> Thinking about the room you're in right now, has anyone ever died here? Uh, in this particular room? I don't know. If you think about it, like, all of our houses, unless it's, like, a new build, like, unless they just tore the forest down and built your house there, somebody probably died in your house. Stop laughing at everything I say! What? Yeah, it's pretty morbid. What? It's not a stretch! I think that a lot of people have died in their houses, yeah. Like, a lot of people have died of natural causes in their houses. That's what houses are for. <laughs> it's not what houses are for, but... <laughs> I'm unsure. I don't know. <laughs> oh! Weird. Did you guys see that? Okay, whatever. How? How what? How unconventional? What do you mean? Okay, I gotta eat this pizza pop the old-fashioned way, because I'm- I don't want to miss a question. Please indicate how strongly you would agree or disagree with the following statements. Alright. This is the real personality stuff, chat. This is the stuff that separates the big boys from the little boys. When I'm staring at a screen, like I am right now, I completely forget about my surroundings. I don't forget about my surroundings, I choose to ignore them. Uh, I don't strongly agree, but I agree. I don't strongly disagree because I do get in there. Like, when I'm reading something, I'm gone. Like, if you try to have a conversation with me, I'll know that you're there. But... I will actively choose to ignore you. Agree? Strongly agree? What do you mean strongly agree? You actually forget where you are? Or not forget where you are, but like forget about your surroundings completely? We're just gonna go with agree, because I strongly agree makes me nervous. I, I don't I just don't think that's it. I often think about the ghosts inside my house. Disagree. Very much disagree. Imagine thinking about the ghosts inside your house. I'm not going to say I never do it. But I don't, like, wake up and go, the ghosts. The ghosts. <laughs> like, no. Disagree. Thank you. Other people would say that I'm a liar. Mm. These days, no. When I was a kid, sometimes I just random randomly lie about stuff. Do you ever do that? Like if you didn't have a cool story, you like just made one up. <laughs> would your friends call you liars? Disagree. I mean that you would hope, right? You would hope. I'm not gonna strongly disagree though, because sometimes I do exaggerate. But not if it's something, like, really serious. Sometimes it's just, like, more fun storytelling. I often look over my shoulder to check if someone is standing behind me. Watching my screen. Chat, is there a reason why you were asking me to keep looking behind me? Have you done this before, or are you guys in cahoots with the test runners?
I don't. Do you hear that? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, the, the, I, I'm gonna disagree because I don't often do it, but I do it sometimes. Often is a bit of a stretch. Strongly agree. Are you guys paranoid? Always look behind you. Trust me. Stop it. I disagree. Sometimes looking behind you makes it worse. Like, if you're in the shower and you're like, oh, I have to open my eyes, like, that's even scarier than just, like, trying to stay, like, trying to keep your head in a positive place. There's an unexpected guest in my house. There's Anjing in my house. Stop it! I'm actually, like, looking behind me in the monitor. There, I disagree, actually. House is empty. Thank you. It's just me, Anjing, Terry and Gordon. Nobody would know if I went missing. I mean, I feel like you guys would know if I went missing. And I feel like if you guys went missing, like, your family would know. Right? That's really sad if, you know, anyone says agree to that. I really hope nobody's saying agree to this. I'm gonna strongly disagree. Because, like, my brother would know. Like my parents would know. They'd freak out. We're we're doing something we're doing something strong for once in our lives. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. I agree, but like I I wouldn't say that like there are I feel like there are other art forms that can be more intelligent. Sometimes, but I feel like poetry is up there. Like I feel like poetry is a competitor How do you guys all agree? What is that? Is there something I don't know? Like I love poetry My dad like forced me to read poetry when I was little and it got to a point where I loved poetry But I don't know how how can somebody say it's the most intelligent form of artistic expression? How can somebody say that? Hey Terry is poetry the most artistic form of Sorry. Is poetry the most intelligent form of artistic expression? It's up there. Yeah. It's, I would say, like, it's up there, but I wouldn't yeah. say. I, I, I wish that there was, like, a neutral. I'm just gonna have to go with agree. No, but... I'm gonna disagree because it's such a sweeping statement. You need an attitude readjustment. That's not a question. I've designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Let me demonstrate. Uh-oh, this guy's gonna lecture me about poetry now. This is your fault! I'm scared. Huh? Roses are red, silent as a mouse. Your door is unlocked. I'm inside your house. Hey Terry, is the door locked? No. Why? Uh, I don't know. Why would it be locked? Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't you lock your door? Because who's coming in? Congratulations! Only forty-one percent of participants typically reach this point in the examination. From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? I will continue if Terry locks the door. I'm waiting. I'll eat my pizza pop and talk to chat. Fine. Why wouldn't you lock your door at all times? Because we live in Canada. Bad things happen in Canada. <laughs> I will continue. This actually wasn't a bit for the stream. Terry actually went and locked the door. Always lock it from now on. Bye. All right, how far away 
is the closest police station. Oh gosh, please stop. Did it just say force? I feel like it flashed to the qu I feel like it flashed to an answer that like answered the question. I actually don't know where the closest police station is, but I assume pretty close. Uh, maybe more than a 15 minute walk? Maybe less? Hey Terry? Yes? Is the nearest police station more than 15 minute walk away? 15. 15. Uh, no, I don't know. Really? Okay. Mine is like five miles. Yeah, I feel like you could run that in 15. When you're home alone, do you lock your doors? We do now! We do now! <laughs> is your sound on? Yeah, it should be. How long can you hold your breath underwater? Less than 41 seconds, exactly 41 seconds, or more than 41 seconds. I honestly feel like I could do more than 41 seconds, but that might just be me lying. Um, like, is this some kind of record that most people can't do? Because I really feel, like, when I was younger, every time I went to a hotel, I would, like, hold my breath in the pool, and I could always hold it way longer than everybody else. I definitely can't do two minutes, and I, I find it crazy that some of you in the chat are saying you can hold your breath for two minutes. That's ridiculous. But I could definitely do, I feel like I could definitely do more than 41. Stop telling me to look behind me. How long can someone, how long can someone survive if you drill three evenly spaced holes? One quarter of an inch of diameter in the midpoint of their skull. I don't want to die. Why are you asking me? I, I definitely, I definitely feel less than three uh, days. Oh gosh, that makes me, that makes me sick. What's the, what's the honest answer though? I feel like maybe three hours, right? I don't want to die. <clears throat> if you were to be slippity slapped within the next seven minutes to 18 date. Okay, come on, boy, you can't make it that long. Which technique would scare you the most? I feel like you want to know this and no. No! I'm just gonna random any mini mini mo. Cause you talk about the total here and the I'm going to mini mo. My most the very best one. What if I don't want to talk about it? I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not speak. What do you mean it will not speak? Yo, what up, okay, what, okay, is this gonna be bad? Like, should I full screen my face right now? Like, I'm scared of what's coming ne ne next. I'm scared. <laughs> ah, it's a spider! I'm so sorry if you're watching this on your phone and you hate spiders. How did that image make you feel? Not good. Uneasy, right? Eat the noodles, eat the noodles, eat the noodles, eat the noodles. There's nothing behind me! Uneasy. I don't like spoilers. I'll ask this one more time. Are you playing a game right now? Yes. Do you know that I'm a good person? How the heck would I know that? Hi! No, I don't know that. But I also feel kind of scared. I kind of feel like I should say yes, you must be a good person. I will not be coerced. Are you lying to me right now? No. I'm actually telling you the truth. Lying is forbidden? That's cool. Well, I'll tell you the truth. Don't worry about it. Mmm. 
Whoa, that's really good. Please select any of the following sports you've played. Boxing, Jiu Jitsu, Mai Tai, Taekwondo, none of the above. Taekwondo, how'd you know that? Wait, 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 wait. This is a standard question? How'd they know I did Taekwondo? Please select any of the following industries that you have occupational experience. Okay, so past jobs. Okay, thankfully I haven't done any of this. Wait, what's a mercenary? Isn't that someone who sells stuff? That wasn't me. Unless you count like a clerk. You've done boxing? Oh, I've always wanted to do boxing. That seems like a good one. Do you think I can tell when you're lying? No, I don't think you can tell. I think it's up to me to be honest. Wait, should I say yes or no? Chad, I'm scared. What the heck are you doing? Well, there's something to be behind you when you said stop telling me to look behind you. Why are you wearing a mask? You scared me. Yeah, that's why I wore it. Boom. Stop it. If you could, you know, doink a person in the head, and get away with it, would you do it? Only if the person was a family member, what kind of an answer is that? No, I wouldn't do that. You have to live with yourself after you do that. Mm. Your recent answers indicate you are exhibiting a fight or flight response and may be at risk of an acute stress reaction. I'll need you to breathe slowly and calm down. Press continue when you are calm. Okay, so this is my favorite thing to do. Only when you are calm. Okay, well that doesn't help. So we're gonna do a little bit. Okay, so you breathe in for four seconds. Breathe in. Hold it for seven. And then exhale for eight. <sighs> Four, seven, eight, breath, if I remember correctly, but I've been doing that a lot lately, so if I'm, do if I'm doing it wrong, that's a mess. Okay, I'm calm. Stop. Please take a moment to look away from your monitor and observe the nearest exit. <clears throat> Make sure you could run if something were to happen. Do this now. Now! Oh, okay. Uh, all right. I could run. I, although, like, my headphones, y you know, I could run. Did you look away from your screen? Yes. Oh, watch your profanity. Do you think I can tell when you look away from your screen? That's gonna be a maybe for me, bud. Do you feel safe in your house right now? What do you mean? Why is there no yes? Unsure. Because I'm not about to say no. Stop it. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having fun. But only because the chat's here. I just missed that. What did it say? Please ignore any external stimulus. Concentrate only on this screen. Okay. There are no unexpected guests in your house. Then why were you like baiting me into thinking there are? There are no unusual sounds coming from inside your house. Do not take your eyes off the screen. Do you understand? Yes. I understand. Liar, what do you mean? Do you understand? Yes! Don't move or you may die. Ah! Music can help us all relax. Singing is relaxing. What do I do? What do I choose? Every night when I go out, the monkey's on the table. Take a stick and knock it off. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Pop goes the weasel. Every night I go out, the monkey's on the table and take a stick and knock it off. Pop goes the weasel. What? Up and down the city road, in and out the, in and out the eagle. Oh, oh geez, oh geez, oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. 
I was surprised I was reading that not knowing it was a song. I was just like, Pop goes Weasel! <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's got the whooping cough? What do you mean? Uh... <laughs> Where's my... Results! Oh, okay, I'm getting my results soon. Well, thank you. You scared the living crap out of me. I better get my results. I survived the Watson Scott test. I lasted 30 minutes. Ah! Jesus, Kay, stop it! Easily manipulated, respectful of elders. People remember my face. Stepping on snails makes me feel guilty. I know that. I'm most afraid of being beaten to death with a hammer. I didn't say that. I don't, do you guys remember me saying that? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the main test is complete. There's a bonus test available. Okay, I don't know if I, my heart can handle it. Do we do it, chat? I'm scared. Um. All right. Here we go. Very well. If there's another jump scare, um, I'm going to take my computer monitor and throw it out my window. The second test is designed to challenge your fear tolerance. Incorrect answers will be punished. Ignorance will be punished. Great. I must also admit that I have not run this test before. There may be unexpected malfunctions. Your answers will be used in the development of future tests. Great, so I'm just a lab rat. I'm a lab rat. Gabriella, that was not a very nice super chat. I looked out my window and I was scared. Here we go. Complete this, wait. Complete this test as quickly as possible for accurate results. But do not let that clock concern you. It is nothing to be concerned about. Well then why is it there and why is it red? It's freaking me out. All right, you guys ready for the speed run? After the explanation, you'll have a better sense of purpose and stronger resolve. Okay, why is this timer going down while you're talking slowly? I want you to be stronger. Do you want to be stronger? Yes, of course I want to be stronger. Who doesn't want to be stronger? Let's begin. All right, hurry up. How many bones are there in a newborn baby that I haven't met yet? What? <laughs> Help chat! <laughs> I don't know! How many bones are there in a newborn baby that I haven't met yet? Right, somebody said 305 I'm going with it 130 are you sure oh gosh here we go huh correct oh thank you chat thank you chat you're gonna you're gonna help me this is our this is our test right oh one one two what's next I don't know I'm, I was never really good at series patterns yeah that's what I was thinking because it's just adding it up, you know? Incorrect. <laughs> Dang it! How many times per year does the average human heart beat if it is not stopped? I don't know! We all got it wrong, we all got it wrong. Oh wait, no, everyone said two. Uh, Terry, we're idiots. Okay, chat, I'm gonna need your help with this one because I don't want to get another thing wrong and I don't want to get scared. 30 mil, let's get it. Yes! How do you guys know this randomly? 
All right, all right, all right. One of the most venomous, venomous snakes. Dang it. One of the most venomous land snakes in Australia, the Death Adder, sick name, bites an adult woman, injecting a highly deadly neurotoxin. How long does the woman have to live? I think six hours, right? One of the most venomous? What if it's an hour? <gasps> what if it's 24 minutes? I would hope that it's 24 hours, but if it's the deadliest snake in the world, then it's probably going to be 24 hours. That's what I was thinking. But that's not very deadly, is it? One hour? I'm going to say one hour, because 24 minutes, that seems insane. Wait, this time is going down fast. Oh, it's incorrect. <gasps> a man is tied to a chair. Okay, I can't. Stop it. A man is force-fed pulverized pig intestines. How much volume does the man's stomach hold before it uh, I don't know! Uh, wait, if you think about it though, there's a certain amount of milk, like when you drink milk, that you, like your body can't hold. I think it's something like, I think it's like five, right? It's definitely not two. I think it's five. I'm gonna go for it. Correct. Let's get it. A fear of butterflies is called... I do not know this. It's definitely not claustrophobia. That's all I know. Help, Terry. A fear of butterflies is called what? Help, chat. Help! Lepidoterophobia. Correct. Okay, let's go. I'm running out of time. A boy with no arms is facing west. What is that? What? He walks forward for 60 seconds and then turns 90 degrees left. He sees someone running at him. So he turns 180 degrees and begins to run. Which way is the boy facing? Not a trick question. Uh-oh. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Okay, so he's facing. Wait, never eat soggy wieners. Okay, so he's looking left. He walks forward for 60 seconds and then turns left. Okay. He sees someone running at him. He turns one eight. He one eighties. North, right? Yeah. Correct. Thank God. How do tapeworms enter their hosts? Um. Oh, hopefully not burrowing through the skin. I think it's ingested, right? We ingest the larvae. Let's try it. Nice. Please choose the third response. This is not a trick. I will not scare you if you do what I say. I am not lying. Okay. What is a positive electrode called? I don't remember. How do you know? How do you remember that? Which was the best video game release in 2014? I don't know. Probably Five Nights at Freddy's, honestly. Ah! Jeez. Well, one, the other was like Crossy Roads and some 420 thing. What is my favorite thing to do? Contemplate the human condition, listen to jazz, or bathe in deer blood? Help! Oh, the timer's gone! You're right! I, this is his favorite thing to do, not my favorite thing to do. I think this guy likes to bathe in the blood of a deer. Which one? Which one? Help! Okay, we're going for it. Incorrect? What do you- then why'd you put it there? The test? is now complete nice awesome all oh, great i love that thank you so much ah! your results are very very helpful awesome your participation was adequate awesome we love when an adequate participation happens in our lifetimes we're done here for now awesome thank you oh i couldn't see that one good 
Bye. Okay. See ya. Oh my gosh. I hated that. Ew. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry to the person who just joined. It was, it was tough. All, all of that just for them to tell me that I'm gullible. And that I, I like old people. Or I don't like old people. I don't know. Yikes. Oh my goodness, look at all these super chats. Melly Mini, Bell Gaines. Thank you so much for the super chats. Jolly, Jolie, Adeline Nichols, Chikook Forever, Olivia Ebinger, Nix Elite, Amelia Milliner, Just Keshawn. I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. It's the glowing skin for me. Oh, thank you. I've, I've been trying some new things. <laughs> Viola Werner Amara Mimi Wee Meters. Thank you so much for the super chat. Kaylee Caudill, it's Sweet Peach. Katarina Petrova, thank you so much. Ashy Bug, Oscar Workman 23, Colton Novick, CG Bonman, Blind Knight Afton, Gemini Gotcha, Drizza, X Lixie, Henry Drizzle, Savage Theo, Kayla Panda Paws, thank you so much for the super chat. Check, girl. Emoji boys, Savage Theo, Gabriella, Gaichiote. I butchered that bad. I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for the super chat. Spitfire, Normac, Kev Gaming, Gabriella, Go. 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 Is that good? Stella, Beth Willis, yeah, Nadia, don't stay behind me. I don't want to be a pick-me girl who goes, where, where? And I always do it every time. And it's not becoming, and it's not cute, and it's not charming. It's actually cringe, but I always do it. Leah Plays, thank you so much for the super chat. Angie, come say, come say goodbye to the people. Yo, papa. Come say goodbye to the people. Whoa. Oh, oh, he's crazy. Oh, he's, he's going wild. Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't have called him. Oh. Oh, he's so excited. Oh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Oh, he wants to go out. Uh, pop, pop. Oh, wait. Can, Terry, can you bring his blue chair? I, I, want, I, I want you guys to see him sitting in his blue chair first. It's very cute. We do it for Zoom calls. Except the other day, we were. he was like sitting. Actually, I don't know if I should talk about that. It was like the elephant in the room. Yeah, yeah maybe not, hey? Watch out, Pop. That wasn't Angie, that was his toy. Here. Oh. Pop, pop, come on up. Pop, pop. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, look at you. Pretty. Looking pretty for the stream. Yeah. Look at you. Looking pretty for the stream. There. Yeah. Censored. Block his wiener so you can't see. Good puppy. Nice? Yeah, big. Big You dog. like him? <laughs> you like him? You want to buy him? You want him? He's a handful. Yep. He'll bite you. Are, are you ruining my life? Hmm? Are you ruining my life one snip at a time with a bite? He doesn't like people very much. But he likes us. But we're working on it. <laughs> uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. I really appreciate it. Thank you to my mods for moderating the chat. Thank you to everybody who sent me a nice little super chat. Thank you for everybody in the chat who kept me company, who joked around with me, who just makes me feel good about streaming. What, should I pull this up to my face? Can you hear me? <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta take out this guy. Um, Terry, will you look at the, the, sh the tag on this and tell me where I got it? Chat keeps asking. Munkle? Munkle? Munkle. The heck is that? I don't know. Munkle? M-O-N-K-L. Munkle. Yeah, it's my, my coveted Munkle shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, guys. Thank you so much for thanks thanks for everything guys. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the stream. And uh, I will check ya. I'll check you later. <laughs>